we must be going away. Yeah, we're going away first of the year. We're going to do something we've never done before, have we? Taking a bit of a risk on this one, I think. Mm. But time will tell. No, we must be going away because it started to rain. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we off to for our first trip of 2024? We're going south. Yeah, we're in Suffolk. We're and, leaving the county. Uh, we've got our passports. Yeah, we've gone to a pub stopover. Um, it's got a little CL behind it. It's yeah. called the White Horse at, is it Sibton? Sibton. Near Saxmundham. And Yoxford, on, just off the A12. Yeah. yeah, so it's like it's not a pub stop like motorhomers do. It is a proper CL behind what mm. looks like a very, very nice pub. They've won awards for their food and everything. And we've, it's a little romantic, uh, well, it's a getaway, isn't it? Um, romantic. Because, <laughs> yeah, because it's near Valentine's, so um, we've booked a meal and everything. So hopefully that'll be quite nice, wouldn't it? Are we having candlelit dinners and things? Oh, I hope it ain't going to cost a lot. Eh? I hope it's not going to cost a lot. Anyway, we'll get on the road and we'll see you when we get there. When we get there. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Morning campers, here we are now, it's breakfast time. I've done some chores already, I've made the bed, look. So I've made the bed. Uh, when I cook in the caravan, for some reason, Bella likes to hide along. What's wrong, Bella? Why do you always hide out the way? I do know why, because the smoke alarm generally goes off, but I've moved the smoke alarm, so you're all right. You ain't got to worry about it. Little view from the bedroom window. We've got the place to ourselves. It really is nice and quiet. So I'm going to cook some breakfast now. Helen's busy as usual. You right there, Hill? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, what are you doing then? Uh, Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right, on the menu this morning, we're doing bacon rolls or sausage rolls or a bacon and a sausage roll. So, what are you having, Hill? I'll just have a sausage, please. <laughs> right, okay. So, I've got the Ridge Monkey out. I'm not turning the gas on because I can't be bothered. So, we've got the electric ring in the corner. Now we we miss from our old caravan. The only thing we really miss was up here. We used to that have a fan, yeah. little air vent up here, and we a little extractor fan, and because uh, we ain't got that, so it's very seldom we cook in the caravan. We normally cook outside because of the weather. So get your windows open, get a bit of ventilation going. I've moved this, the the uh, smoke alarm because it always goes off, even if I put toast on. 
and then Bella throws a hissy fit. So the Ridge Monkey's out, perfect for this job, because we've got these little chipolata sausages going on here, look. Uh, so you just want a sausage in a roll. I'm going to have a bacon and a sausage, because I'm a bloke. So we'll see how we get on. Mm. Fancy a cup of tea as well? No, thanks, not. Alright. You'll never know when you're Here we go, coming along like, what are you laughing at? If you, look, if you're cooking or if you're doing work in the garden, you have to sing or whistle. Mm. That's what we all do as chefs. Bridge monkey doing its job. Coming along nicely. I've got the plates prepared here, look. I've got my mug of tea ready to go. I've got Helen's orange juice out here for her. Because it is Valentine's Day today. Yeah. So most people will say, oh, you're just doing it because it's Valentine's Day out of love. No. But no, I do this every day for you, don't I, Helen? He does it most. most yeah. He likes it, why not? No. Just let <laughs> I'll tell you why not. We don't eat otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. It's true. Anyway, I've got the door open just to let a few fumes out. We don't like cooking in the van if we can help it. And here's the view. There's not a lot to say, but we'll go for a little walk around. It's 16 amp electric here, which is good. Hard standing. Where are you going, miss? She's off. Don't go in the mud. It's okay because there's no one else on the site, so she's got a place to herself. Helen, you better keep an eye on your dug. And it stopped raining, that's the main thing. And over there, the building you can see there, there's sort of four apartments over there. And then the main pub there, which we'll show you inside anyway, but it dates back to 15... 80. 1580. And the landlord was telling us last night, it's from Nottinghamshire, been here for 19 years. Bella's off into the mud hell. Bella, where are you going? Bambling. Back to the cooking. So I'm having bacon and sausage and having just having a sausage. And I put an extra sausage in for Bella, although she shouldn't really be having it. She's got a big bit too in her head at the moment. You know what? A bit too in her head. Why have you got a bit of tree on your head, miss? Oh, <laughs> come here. Come here. Come on. Yeah, I think you'll have to go and pick her. I'll have to put your shoes on. Oh, that'll be good. <clears throat> it's like the little happy campers, Helen and Dave coasters we've got here. Available from our Amazon store, folks. In fact, everything we've got in this caravan <laughs> is available on our Amazon store, so don't be shy. Have a little look, you never know what you might find. And you'll pay the same price as everyone else, but we get a small, and I mean small, commission. So if you buy on Amazon, click on our shop first and then buy it, and that'll help our channel grow. Well, it certainly it'll help pay for some of these trips away that Helen's got planned for us. Right, breakfast time. Come and eat your breakfast, Hal. Yeah. See, Bella's interested again. There's a sausage there for you, miss. Right, what are we doing today? So from here, there's uh, about a 15 minute walk to the village and the village has um, a tea room and a deli and a post office. Um, so that's, hmm. that might be on our agenda for today. I'm not sure if we'll be walking or taking the car there. It's a rain. A bit black episodes. over Bill's mother's. Mm. Um, there's also a castle close by, isn't there? Oh, Framlingham. Mm. Yeah. I don't think we'll go there, but... I think that's English heritage. Yeah, if ever you want to head out this way, this is a great little site, actually. First of all, it's cheap. How much do you pay, Hill? £20. Um, you have to use your own shower and toilets, although you can use the toilets in the pub when they're open. Yeah. And that's usually open uh, 12 till 3. Yeah. And then again 6 till, I think it's half 10. It doesn't stay open Is dead it? late. Right. But it's mainly a restaurant. The food's mainly excellent. food, yeah, yeah. But it's lovely. It's really nice. And say what you said about the chef. He was asked to go where? Yeah, the chef at this pub uh, had been invited to go and do some chefing at uh, the Houses of Parliament. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not surprised because for food, we thought, what's taking a little while? But I'm not surprised. When it turned up, the attention to detail, it was a bit of a novel cuisine type yeah. job, wasn't it? Presentation was fantastic, mm. wasn't it? 
It's very good. So we had a main course and a suite last night. Yeah. And we also paid for our pictures last night as well. So £20 a picture is excellent. Now the good thing I was going to say about this in terms of location is the Suffolk coast is about 20 minutes that way mm -hmm. at the most. Uh, and then around here, we're quite close to Ipswich. Uh, we're and not our far... favourite, Oldborough. Yeah, Oldborough on the coast. Dunwich, just up the coast, and Southwold, it's only sort of 20 minutes away. Um, Framlingham Castle you spoke about, and Saxmundham. So actually, if you want to find yourself a quiet little spot, then I think this is perfect. And it's With very central. With on tap. Yeah. So we're going to enjoy our breakfast just now, mm -hmm. but we'll head down and check out that deli, shall we? Yeah, we'll have a look in the village. Hmm. Once Helen stopped wearing my shoes. Hmm. Would you like to explain? <laughs> well, I'm going to eat my food at the moment. But I borrowed his shoes to go out and uh, get better. Unfortunately, I stood in something not very pleasant. Mm. No, we don't so, think it was better. It could have been a fox. I don't it think it could have been a goose. He's very a happy pheasant. about it. No, you should be wearing my shoes. <laughs> you don't see me wearing your bloody shoes, do you? You can't get them on. I won't wear them if I could. <laughs> anyway, enough of that talk. I'm enjoying my bacon roll. <laughs> Made by a chef who hasn't been invited to the Houses of Parliament. But if they tasted my bacon rolls, they probably would invite me. Oh, yeah. yeah. You eat enough of them. <laughs> That's enough from you. <laughs> We're in Sipton in Suffolk at the White Horse Inn. And this is the uh, sort of back garden, I suppose you might say. Not big, but uh, five good CL pitches. You have to be a member of the Caravan and Motorhome Club to stay here. So when you phone and book, uh, we didn't pay anything when we phoned. They reserved us a pitch, they took our membership number, and then we paid, well we didn't even pay when we got here, we just came on and got ourselves a pitch, and then uh, when we went for our drink and meal in the evening, we paid for our pitches at the bar. So it was dead easy. We got 16 amps, so no full service, but I mean, what do you expect for 20 pounds a night? Aqua roll full of water, waste mass is connected up, and then we've got 16 amp electric hookup over here, which I think for 20 quid a night, is very good. Okay, we haven't got uh, showers and toilets, but we have got chemical waste so we can get rid of the um, toilet cassette at the Elson Point. So here we are outside the pub. This is the main car park here. So quite a good sized car park. We came in with a caravan and turned around here yesterday because we went in the wrong bit. So how old is it, Hell? 1580. 1580? Yeah. You wouldn't believe it, would you? It doesn't look 1580, does it? Oh, good. Well, there's a lovely area outside here, which in the summertime, especially, I would think, is very nice. Plenty of space. You can eat or drink out here. <laughs> Very nicely done. Look at that old place there. Must have been the old garage or stables or something back in the day. I would imagine quite a sun trap. No doubt barbecue and stuff in an outside bar there. Very good. Helen's found herself a nice little seat right at the end of the bar. A bit of a job to get in it, but <laughs> I ain't got out yet. <laughs> Very good. Mm. 
Nice, that's nice, isn't it? Lovely. Bit up top as well. There's that rose I bought you, look. There you go, that's it. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You're on the table, is that all right? Thank you very much indeed. Okay, look. That's fine. Rosette Award for Culinary Excellence 2023-24 and also 22-23. We got another one over here. Oh, do you mind me, brother? No, no. It's all right. So, what's this one for? That's, a, that's our first rosette. Oh, your first one, right? And that was 12 years ago. Did I not read somewhere that your chef would have to go to Parliament or Westminster or something? Oh, uh, yeah, that was, um, that was a chef for COVID. Oh, was it? Yeah, well, well what happened was, um, what happened was, um, a number of years ago, the government, your local MP, would um, put forward their favourite restaurant. Oh, right. For their constituency. I see, yeah. And um, Therese Coffey. Yeah. Um, who's been a um, member of parliament for some time and Boris, Boris Johnson. That's Boris right, yeah. On his, his yeah. Team. Um, she put us forward. Oh, brilliant. As her favourite place. And, yeah. Um, um, we, um, unfortunately, we didn't win. Oh, you didn't win? Well, we were shortlisted to something like the top six. Oh, well, yeah, oh, right. Fantastic. That. That's brilliant, yeah. Had we won. Yeah. Chef at the time would have been invited to Parliament. Ah, uh, yeah. So we got close, but not, not quite close. Enough. Well, it was good. You did well. Well, I think these little rosettes and everything say it all, really, don't they? We had a lovely meal last night, didn't we? Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And we've enjoyed our stay on the campsite as well. Good. Yeah, it's good. I'm envious of your chicken, Helen. Chicken supreme, yeah. I'm envious. Huh? But I've gone with pork chicken over here. Good presentation. Okay, don't we? Yeah. Helen just asked if I'd like to sit there, but they'd never get me in there, I tell you. Now the first job every morning, first thing in our household is a lovely cup of tea. I've made a mistake if I filled Helen's up. Well, she can't lift the whole mug at the moment. So <laughs> I'll have to empty some of that out or I'll get told off. I only drink half anyway. You only drink half, but you only drink the top half. Mm. <laughs> Normally. So what have we got here? Look, Nanny's caravan mug and Granddad's caravan mug. And uh, first time we've used these because it's the first time we've been out this year. And a big thank you to Savannah for these because she bought us these for our Christmas. And here they are in the caravan. Thank you, Savannah. Is that a good colour? I think that's a good colour. Look at the view out of the kitchen window. And since we got here, it's done nothing but rain. I think it's just stopped, actually. It may have just stopped. But as you can see, there's only us here. Lovely and quiet, wasn't it, last night? Oh, it was beautifully quiet, quiet, yeah. And we had a nice meal in the pub. And um, we're going to have another one in the pub, I think, tonight as well. Now, we may decide to have a little run out later, because we're quite close to the coast here in Suffolk. So we will see. But first, things first. Yeah, have the tea before it's cold. We'll drink the tea. All right then, Helen. You can't see her, but you always hear her, wherever she is. <laughs> So just in the village of Yoxford, that's about three miles from the site that we're on, five minutes in the car, and uh, you have to pass through Yoxford to get to Subton. But what a wonderful place this is. Let me just have a scan round for you. Milestone House is over here. And I want to have a little wander over to the church and show you that, and the Griffin Inn pub. So 
I'll just cross over here. These wonderful Suffolk cottages. This is called Magnolia House. Absolutely wonderful. So there's a church. Look at the old signpost there though. And it's saying uh, 30 miles to Yarmouth from here. Uh, Framlingham 10 miles in this opposite direction. And then London is 93 miles from here. That's an old signpost, isn't it? Now that says butchers there, but I don't think that's the butchers anymore. But wait until you see this post office because yeah, I guess from the outside this looks like an old village post office, which is of course what it is. But let me just take you over the other side of the road and show you what's on the other side because it looks pretty amazing. Certainly when we drove past here the other day when we arrived, I was quite shocked. And you'll see what I mean there. It's not what I expected to see when we drove past. Look at the old shop, but look at the building it's in. Now I really don't know quite what it is. There's a public footpath down here. And some old lodge buildings. So we'll have a little look down here. Just really quick. Helen stayed in the car because she needed to make a phone call. This would be a lovely place to bring Bella for a walk actually and again can you imagine when the sun's out nice summer's day walking through here I can see some old ruins ahead I'm not sure what they are I'm not going to go too much further oh actually they're not ruins I think I'm seeing things we did pass the Sibton Park estate just on the outskirts of our village wonderful looking place whether there's a stately home there or not, I don't know, but I'll have a little look. But I want to go inside the Yoxford Church and have a quick look at that. And it will be quick, so don't panic. Don't, don't, don't leave, because I know a lot of the channels. <laughs> they take you to these churches and stuff, but some of them are just amazing. So it'll be a quick tour of the church. I mean, look at these old buildings. I mean, how old is this? These are old, old buildings, folks. This is a really old village here in Suffolk. And it's quintessential, I think that's the right word. No doubt about that. But these walls could probably tell you some stories. But I just don't get what that used to be. I might go in and ask in a second to see, see what they say. Right, let's have a look at this lovely church. This is St. Peter's of Yoxford. And the church is open every day. So it's like the main door in. So we'll look, look.
a wonderful stained glass window. I'm always taken by the size of some of these churches compared to the village itself. It's gigantic. Really quite cold in here, I must say. Over here is the belfry. The bell tower. Well, the strange thing about that was, when I opened the door to leave, I felt the warmth hit my face, because inside there was really cold. And I know these old stone churches, they don't get much light in them, do they? And they cost a fortune to heat, but it was actually, I could feel the difference in temperature walking out, which is really bizarre. Right, I'm gonna head back to Helen, but uh, even here, like a modern house, just got the right sort of style about it for, a village such as this. That's the hairdressers. The garden house antiques and books. And the Griffin pub. Now the Griffin pub, I have to say, looks a bit tired. Yeah, I think the griffin would certainly benefit from a coat of paint and a bit of gardening done to it. Um, shame, really. A lot of our pubs are dying out, aren't they? But look here, look. Blossoms starting to come back on the trees. Lovely. Spring is just around the corner, folks. So it's good to be out in the caravan again, I tell you. And the good thing um, I can report is that the, everything in the caravan is working just fine. So. The heating system spot on, toasty warm last night. Uh, all the plumbing, the water pump, etc. Shower, beautiful. Uh, so, and we were able to get a really good signal on the site. We've got um, free Wi Fi, 20 quid a night, can you believe it? And good Wi Fi at that. <coughs> a good 4G signal as well. So I was streaming TV on the, on the phone because I didn't realise we had free Wi Fi. So that was excellent. And uh, I just love where we are. And I think certainly in the warmer months, we'd come back here. What we're gonna do now though, we're gonna get back in the car and we're gonna head to one of our favorite spots on the coast, which is about a 15 minute drive away. About to leave, already packed. I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand
Eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde. A classic cliche, we're on the run. This is what we waited for. Well, it is mid-February, and yes, it's a bit grey, but Alborough on the Suffolk coast, worth a visit any time of year. Of course, it's always much better when the sun's shining and it's nice and warm, and we look forward to many trips back later in the year. But for now, we're going to end this video here. We hope you've enjoyed our little tour, our little trip down to Sipton at the White Horse Inn. And if you have, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell, and that will let you know when the next videos are coming out. And, of course, leave a comment. We love all the comments that we get, and we answer every single one. But until the next video, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you again very soon. Bye for now.